welcome back to Primetime Morning. You know, Susanna, you use a tailor, right? Yes, I do. What do you yes, like I best do. about having a tailored outfit? The fact that it fits me perfectly, mm -hmm. except, you know, you have to be careful not that what? you don't lose or put on too much weight. Oh. Because <laughs> after that, it just, you know, comes Okay, out well, that can be said for any kind of clothes, then. Whether you, you tailor it or you buy it off the rack. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, a lot of times people think that tailoring clothes is actually more expensive. And, you, and, and some people, are, I guess, are a bit worried about, they don't know, they're not designers themselves. Mm -hmm. They're saying, I don't know how to make a shirt. I don't know what I want or what I don't want. Because, right, because you have to pay to get it done for you. Yeah. But, you know, if it's off the rack, it's already there and you can check it out for yourself you whether see you want it to right buy it or not. Well, today on The Best Man, we're going to take a look at tailoring and show you some of the benefits that come from having a tailored outfit. Take a look. Now you can wear your clothes or you can have your clothes wear you. When you wear your clothes, you're in charge. But if it's the other way around, well, let's just say that should never happen. And that's where a good tailor comes in. A well-fitted shirt will take you a long way. All right, Terrence, I mean, we all know what women are like. They love to shop. They'll go out and spend hours. They get their girlfriends along. They'll look at something many times before they buy it. Whereas a guy who walk in the shop, like the shirt, buy three of them. So why then should we even think about tailors? Um, because um, off the, on the racks, um, the sizes are more generic. So if you happen to be one of those who are like in between sizes, then that's where a tailor comes in. That you he will be able to tailor make the shirt for you to suit you better. Mm -hmm. And then I guess also, I mean, what are the other what are the other benefits? I, I know a lot of times it's details, right? Yeah, details, like what you can do on the collars. You don't, you can't get this off the rack. You can I mean, or on the cuff. You can do even for short sleeve shirts. Yeah. You can do pleats in the front or a button cuffs on the on your okay, sleeve. Okay. But not not every guy can carry this kind of look off. And I mean, it. I mean, I would never think of putting pleats on a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, I mean, it, it all depends on your occasion. Like, if you're wearing this to work, obviously, um, don't, I don't think your boss would be very happy with that. <laughs> but if it's on a, or you are wearing it casually on a weekend, yeah. why not? And then what about suits? We've got some examples here. I, I gotta say, though, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would never be seen in a pink suit. I think it's hard to carry off. <laughs> Well, I, I agree that not everyone will be able to wear this. Um, it's more it's more suitable for the for the weekend, I would say. Okay. Um, this is this is where the tailor comes in because most of the time you won't be able to find this off the rack. Right. So if you are more adventurous, um, you want to play around in colors or prints, and in this case, um, this suit came with a pair of Bermudas okay. instead of your regular pants. Sure. Okay. So and then. I just noticed here, here the, the, the detailing in this, uh, the thread, what, what, what do they call this, where they sort of... Uh... Oh, there's this trend um, where people like to play with the colours of the buttonholes. Mm -hmm. So instead of, say, a white shirt with just white buttonholes, yeah. they, play, uh, they play, play with the colours, um, they match it with red thread and then you make your shirt more outstanding. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm guilty of that too. <laughs> so having heard from the fashion writer, I had to speak to a tailor to get his point of view. Maharaja's Tailors is one of the oldest tailoring outfits in Singapore. And today, the founder's grandson has taken the helm. So I asked him why a man should consider a tailor. Well, one thing about tailors is that they offer skilled workmanship. This is something which is very personalized. Like clients come in with different requirements. When you make a shirt, you'd rather have something with a cuffling shirt. You can have regular cuff. You can have a shirt with a pocket, without pocket, contrasting collars and cuffs, different collar styles. These are all requirements which can be fulfilled by a tailor rather than a shirt bought off the rack. When you come to a tailor, for, uh, for example, for shirts, nowadays there's a strong demand for cost contrasting collars and cuffs. People like to have a different fabric inside the collar bands and inside the cuffs. Uh, contrasting buttonholes and buttons, extra pen pockets inside the pocket. Like for trousers, they have a strong request for handphone pockets in the trousers and uh, linings in the pants and jackets they tend to have extra detailing like real buttonholes working functional buttonholes the other thing that makes a difference is the material you choose for your clothes so good cotton or fine wool do make a difference there are white shirts and then there are white shirts the main thing depends on the type of fabric that determines the look of, a, of the garment uh, the different types of cottons are Italian cotton, Egyptian cotton, 
the best of the lot is the Italian cotton. They give you a much a cleaner look, a crisp look. It doesn't wrinkle so easily, and they're all tooth like cottons. The next in the line is Egyptian cotton. They are very good to wear. Also, they're comfortable to wear. They don't uh, cause person to perspire, and they hang very well as well. The only problem is they really tend to wrinkle a little bit. The third type is polyester cotton. Polyester cotton can be a bit uncomfortable, but it keeps a look at the end of the day. It still looks it's just fresh out of the closet. As for suits, the top of the range is cashmere and wool fabric. As long as they're from Italy and from England, the quality is guaranteed. They can range in terms of uh, the grain. It can be super 120s, it can be super 150s. And the different types of brands, as long as you take fabric made of cashmere and wool, they're guaranteed a long-term suit for you. So at the end of the day, a tailor can do wonders for you without costing you an arm and a leg. And he can even help you feel better about yourself. As George Bernard Shaw once said, the only man who behaves sensibly is my tailor. He takes my measurements anew every time he sees me, while all the rest go on with their old measurements and expect me to fit them. Be kind to your tailor, and he'll be kind to you. Now, one of the things you should note, I mean, I've brought friends to the tailor before, and they get one shirt, they don't like it, but it, it's kind of a relationship, because as your tailor gets to know what you like and the way you like clothes to fit you, then they can make it just the way you like it, you see? That's true. So, so, so work on it. Give it a few chances. Try a few things, and, you know, and I think in the long run, I think most guys would, will find a tailor quite, yeah. quite helpful, actually. But, you know, one of the things uh, Steve mentioned earlier mm. was that, you know, don't be afraid to go to a tailor because it doesn't really cost you that That's much true. more. So it's really up to you, the quality that you're looking for and the fit that you're looking for. The tailor might just yeah. ask you. It's a little thing. Words. I like a handphone pocket, a certain corner in my pocket. I mean, it's little things like that <laughs> that feel own comfort. You can try it out. Well, on that note, we're going to wrap up Primetime Morning for this Monday, the 29th of June. But you want to join us tomorrow for another exciting show because we're going to go all Mandarin, right? We're going <laughs> to Jianghuayi. Right.